first time we're seeing a deadly lounge shooting play out. Prosecutors played the never before seen video during the murder trial for Jordan Tate. He's accused of killing an employee and shooting two others at the Brownstone Social Lounge in downtown Milwaukee in February of last year. 12 News Madison Moore takes us into the courtroom. State of Wisconsin versus Jordan Tate. Tuesday morning, the trial got underway for Jordan Tate, charged in the murder of Brownstone Social Lounge employee Crystal Tucker. Jurors, this case is about a senseless shooting. It's about a guy who couldn't get into a bar, so he shot up the hostess and two, bar, uh, two bouncers. The elements, every single one that must be met by the state before that presumption of innocence can be overcome based upon the state's evidence that Mr. Tate is not guilty as a matter of law. The prosecution showing never before seen surveillance footage from inside and outside of the lounge during the shooting. A detective on the case walking the jury through the shots frame by frame. What do you see that uh, weapon doing again a second time? A muzzle flash. The detective identifying Tate as the man seen firing multiple times as he's escorted out by security for not meeting the lounge's age requirement. The general manager of the business recounting the horrifying moments. And I just heard pop, 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 pop. So I opened the door and Crystal was laying on the floor. Moore said she tried to keep Tucker alive, but she later died at the hospital. Just before lunch break this morning, one of the 14 jurors who was actually late to this morning's trial and had to be brought to the courthouse by Milwaukee police was removed from this case. That's because he was seen sleeping during testimony. The judge saying she even heard him snoring at one point. In Milwaukee, Madison Moore, WISN 12 News. If the jury finds Tate guilty on all charges, he could face up to 110 years in prison.